Hello everyone, welcome to another Webflow tutorial video. In this tutorial video, I will show you how to add payment gateway or a payment processor to your Webflow website. Even if you are doing e-commerce or maybe if you're doing something else, you can add a payment processor to your Webflow uh, website in the backend, right? So uh, again, if you want more uh, Webflow tutorials, you can definitely check out our channel for more. But Let's get started. So first of all, obviously you'll need to go to your settings. From your settings, you need to go to your e-commerce section. And here you actually have payment right here. And then from the payment, as you can see, you have two different payment options. You can connect Stripe. If you connect Stripe, uh, you can basically go and use different cards, credit cards and debit cards to collect payments or you can use PayPal. With this, you can just use PayPal and uh, obviously you cannot really get a lot of payments with PayPal, but I would definitely recommend choosing both of them or if I wanna choose one, I would choose Stripe right here. Now you will need to connect the Stripe right here. As you can see, you have payment providers, connect Stripe, and then from here, uh, you need to actually go to this section right here and you need to enable checkout. So checkout is disabled right here, as you can see. So you need to enable checkout and add payment provider for your checkout. Now what this will do is this will add, for example, Stripe to your checkout and people that purchase on your site will be able to basically purchase through their credit card or debit card via Stripe. That's how easy it is, right? Uh, that's how easy it is to, to connect Stripe or PayPal through uh, the editor, right? Uh, this is the only way and currently the best way to, to do this. Obviously, you can also add your checkout on your uh, Webflow website. However, this is another tutorial for this. This is all, all, all if you want to do it in the backend. So in the backend, not front end. So you will need to do this in the backend first and then add it to the front end, whatever you want, uh, a button to basically connect to the checkout. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, find it useful, and we'll see you in the next video.